The interesting thing about Varroa is that it's not the Varroa itself that kills hives. There's a whole lot of viruses that are found in colonies and most of them don't have much effect because they don't have an easy way into getting to a bee. Um, occasionally a bee might lose a hair and virus, get, virus will get in. And sac brood, of course, can get into a larvae because it's fed with the food. Now Varroa is a great vector for viruses. So it's not the Varroa that kills the colonies, it's the viruses that the Varroa spreads that kills the colony. And that has lots of implications for how many Varroa you need to kill a colony. And what we do know is it's kind of a moving target. And when Varroa first came into New Zealand, you needed something like 20 to 30,000 Varroa to vector enough virus to kill a colony. By about 2010, this is 10 years afterwards, you only need about 10,000 Varroa. And we know from overseas that over time this number is going to get less and less, um, possibly because the number of viruses that have been vector, being vectored or the condition of the colonies and the number of viruses that are actually inside hives at the time. And we hear reports from other parts of the world where a few hundred Varroa can kill a colony. And again, it's probably not the Varroa are having a bigger effect by themselves, it's just these viruses that is, are spread. Um, the Australians have the advantage that you can irradiate gear. Be interesting to see whether we know that if you irradiate equipment, that the colonies, regardless of row, do much better when they come out. Probably because you're killing viruses and um, nesema. Um, the question is whether if you irradiate colonies, whether the number of row required to kill it suddenly goes back up to the pre-introduction um, to New Zealand totals or whether you're not gaining anything from it. But viruses are the issue and the more row you have the more viruses they can kill and that's why death occurs quite quickly with high row levels because every bee gets infected and what the colony's mechanism for survival here is any sick bees fly off to die somewhere else. The problem with Varroa is when everybody's sick, they all leave and typically all you find is the queen left. And of course, what works for a few bees doesn't work for the whole colony. Um, so yes, in summary, it's the viruses that kill colonies rather than the Varroa themselves. <laughs>